Yeah, that's... I'm so mad if it's a stupid fanatic back. But let's jump into this lore corner, Corey. Let's, let's do it. Let's lore corner. The first one we got is uh, it's petulant. This is from Season of Arrivals. Um, I do believe we read this way back then, but we're going to do it now. Report by VanNet encrypted router, encrypted router. A rebuke to Sabathun for her interference. Perhaps she is jealous of our direct access to the pyramid. She led the hive to the darkness, but she has had eons to regret that choice. Could we exploit this? Personal notes, scratched in hive leather with a flake of Ionian stone. I find the Guardian's collective study humiliating. Their channels are full of open speculation about me. Is she a helpless lackey of Queen Mara? An ancient proto-hive matron? And why did she offer to trade a bag of quartz chip data stores for a pound of breadfruit? Sabathun, queen of all encrypts. Sabathun, who has distorted these messages so badly that only the tenacious drifter can unscramble them. Why does the hive trickster want to prevent our contact with her god? Simple as answer. It is all a trick. You did exactly as I required as her retort to any defeat. How can her plans be foiled when no one understands what they are? But would she dare defy the deep itself? Perhaps she would. Sabathun's wretched existence is need to confuse. To understand her is to destroy her. Is she still set on luring us into a black hole? Some newborn universe where she can be a true god? Or is that a lie too? Am I on the verge of some discovery that threatens her? Jupiter is always straight above. At night, the whole sky is afire. Tons of sulfur burning in the flux tube that connects Io to the Jovian pole. I burn my trash and the smoke drifts up forever. The radio howls like wolves. I am lonely. Yeah. So uh, that that whole chunk there, that's that's not Sabathun talking. That is that's Eris. That is that is Eris talking. Um which is kind of wild because at first you think, oh, Sabathun's talking by herself, then you realize it's very clearly about um Eris. I think one of the big questions here, specifically the line about Mara that you have to ask is who was it that Mara met with in the court when she told us we had to leave before they arrived? Right. Because they were not a fan. They are not fans of those who wield the light. Like who could that possibly have been? I mean, like, that... is there, is there a chance we find out that it's at some point that it was Sabathun or Zivu or Rath? Is there a chance well, we find out it was the Harbinger? Here's the thing. If it's Sabathun, like why would she harness the light? If she's not a fan of people who harness the light. I don't know if she's necessarily not a fan. Oh, well, and I mean, like, that, and that's where, like, exact wording comes into play, right? Right. I don't know that it's not that she's not a fan. I think it's that she's jealous of those who have been touched by the light. She especially hates the Guardians because we can wield both light and dark. We've been blessed by both. And she can't get either one of them to recognize her. Hmm. So, I think that's a question to ask. And uh, also, I think this, this is particularly going to come into play is what is Eris's role in all this? Because sure, Eris's time is nearly up. Um, I feel like Eris is almost, I mean, Eris could very well be the subject of spoiler alert. Maybe the death doesn't happen this season. Maybe it happens at the very onset of the Witch Queen. I could see Eris being just outright killed in a shocking moment because she's the one who's known all about Sabathun this whole time. Uh-huh. Um, and she's being what We know Zavala's being watched. I mean, is Zavala the one? I think that killing Zavala would be the boldest thing that this friend, I would say... That is the boldest thing this franchise has ever done, is if you kill Zavala before the end of the Light and Dark Saga. Yeah. In terms of killing somebody off. Like, Cade was shocking, because that's the only one we developed a relationship with. Now we have so many beloved characters in this universe. Is is this the end for Zavala? Because that is a Vanguard sidearm. Right. Is it Zavala's time? Uh, so something to kind of keep in mind. Uh and then uh, that would be an interesting the, premise too, of like who would rise up to be to lead the Guardians because the has been leading them for so long, you know. You and you would assume it's going to be Ikora, but Ikora is Ikora clearly is not on the tower in the trailers that we've seen. Yeah, she's working with the Hidden. Um, I mean, would the Guardians rally behind the Crow? I mean, that would be like a real kind of <laughs> reverse Redemption. at that point, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Considering Zavala trusts him completely, too. Um, Zavala handed the... Van- the Because we know the Vanguard's in shambles. It's never recovered after Cade's death, and now the consensus is broken as well. Mm-hmm. Um, Zavala's barely keeping everybody together. You know, would Ikora choose to retreat after Zavala's death and say, 
you know, Crow, they're yours to lead. You know, Shax and Saladin are there to advise him. Drifter is there, etc. cetera. Right. Um, this next one is Chapter 5, New Gods. It's from the book Empress at a season of The Chosen. It was Tarin, one of Keitel's advisors that had alerted her to the spectacle. In the square, she said, her voice deep, la- her, vo- her deep voice laced with concern. I've never seen anything like it. Cabal, or Keitel went immediately. Cabal. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the central square it's of Portobal's Weaponsmith District, a bright green flame licked the air. Uman Arath stood against the blaze, naked but for a waist wrap, in the custody of two guards. Her hide was carved with strange crude symbols. When she saw Keitel arrive, she threw her head back and laughed. Here comes the Princess Imperial, she said, to kneel before our new god. I am Savathun whispering. Keitel strode forward. Let her go, she told the guards. Reluctant, they did as she asked. What god, Umun? What heresies have you invented now? Umun grinned. The god of war, she said, and the earth trembled beneath them. But the god of war has planted her armies elsewhere. It is her sister, smiling, that has taken the ear of the war child Umun Arath. Keitel stood before Umun in the flickering green light of the fire. Your obsession is a weakness, she said, and a threat to our prosperity. You can't stop it now. Umun lighted, breathless with delight. Zero wrath, hear me. Keitel didn't break her stare. I have no choice but to. Umun chuckled, raising her hands. They glowed. The fire behind her burned higher and shattered like rattling bones. The war is all there is, she said. As the chattering reached a fevered pitch, Keitel made a decision. The lightning quick reflexes Umun had taught her, she unsheathed the ceremonial sword at her side and ran it through Umun's middle. Umun laughed. You are war, and I conjure you with war and blood. She laughed and laughed and laughed until her mouth began to ooze, until Keitel, disgusted, pushed her off the sword with her foot. The body tumbled back onto the green blaze, a gift for my favorite sister. As the fire consumed the corpse, a gargantuan portal opened in the sky. Uh, so this is kind of how Savathun o- opened the door. She may have not been the one who destroyed Toraval, but she definitely opened the door for Zivorath to do it herself. Uh-huh. We know Zivorath is the one who destroyed it. So savathun has been playing people against each other for eons at this point. Yeah. I mean, um, Savathun is just like, she, I mean, she's just had her hand in everything up to this point, it feels like. like everything. Now we're like really yeah. learning about everything she's really had her hand in. It's like, uh, it's almost like... Uh, 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 Kang at the end of Loki, who kind of just like has yeah. controlled everything yeah. to get to make sure like she gets what she wants or like have the ending that she wants, right? And man. right, she's engineered all these paths, and all it takes is for us just to go down one of them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just uh, that's kind of a glimpse into her power. And you know, we know she's the one behind you know the Dreaming City behind. Uh, the behind Riven, you know, behind the last wish, the last wish granted is hers. Right. Um, you know, that her daughter, Duel Karu, is the one that's running the murder battery, essentially, in the Shattered Throne in Mara's old ascendant plane. Mm-hmm. It's it's absolutely wild. Uh, there There's so much left that we don't understand about Sabathun, and yet we know more about her than any of the other enemies that we've ever faced. Yeah, uh, it's it's a very strange situation, and uh, excited to see how our understanding of her evolves over the next year. Because I certainly the Witch Queen is not the end. Yeah, yeah. Man, what a what a time! What a time! You know what? I'm about to put on my cool glasses, Josh. Oh, those are cool, Corey. I know. They're not cool. They're okay cool. I got them on my trip last week. They were a swag gift. Oh, boy. But that's this is how I imagine us after we beat Savathun in the raid. We just go like this. Oh, yeah. 